Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your mittens are so lovely. Not your traditional carol, but very applicable for a pair of locations in Medicine Hat, the Public Library, and the Southview Church of God, whose causes go beyond the creative decor. The idea was based on Jan Brett's, Brett's book, The Mitten, and um, so we've called for community donations of new uh, either store-bought or handmade items, and as you can see, people have been very generous. So we distribute throughout the community. There's a number of different agencies we've used over the years, and what we usually do is just contact them and see about how much they can disperse and divide it up that way, and it's worked really well for the last number of years. We kind of rotate them through. Uh, they're on the tree. If there are people that come along that feel like they need uh, any of these items, they're, you know, they're welcome to take them. And uh, it seems like there's this, uh, like I said, there's as many things coming in as, uh, as there are going out. And people coming in and it's a cold day and some of them take a toque or some gloves. And, and that's what we want to see happen. We want to see these people helped out when the weather's cold. I think it's been growing a little bit more every year. So I think it's at the point now where we have to look at probably getting a bigger tree. <laughs> Not only have they brought in a bigger tree, but one with different ornaments and a broader purpose. These are Izzy dolls who were originally uh, given away by um, a Canadian peacekeeper named Mark Isfeld. His mother knit the dolls and he gave them away while he was a peacekeeper in Croatia. Unfortunately, he was killed in the early 90s and his regiment decided to carry on the practice of giving away these knitted dolls that they call Izzy dolls. And now the dolls are also given away by humanitarian organizations, uh, iCross Canada, for example, that distributes uh, medical supplies to needy parts of the world. And they use these hand-knitted dolls as packing material around the medical supplies and they give them out to children who need um, comfort as well as medical attention. But the moral of the story is, it's all about giving during the Christmas holiday season. There are a number of churches that have families that they work with, Samus Integration, uh, the Women's uh, Shelter, a couple of the agencies that work with low-income families. So there, there are a, lot, a number of agencies that we can reach out to for dispersing the items. You know, as always, whatever we take in, we want to be clean and, uh, you know, it would be preferable if they'd never been used, but uh, you know, lightly used at, at at the very least. That's what we want to we want to be able to give out good good items to people. So um, we are taking donations until the end of December, and then we hope to um, count them all up and get them distributed in early January. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Dave Dawson.